Tom Reek is here. He's the CEO of Colorado. That was awesome. Probably wasn't and Tom. we're thrilled to have you here. I want to know. It's thrilled to be here. I want to know. So, did you get a? How does this happen? You get a call from Carl Icahn. What, give us a little bit of the backstory. So we had approached Caesars uh, the summer prior to this summer, when the stock had been weakening. Um, frankly, post a CNBC interview prior. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, Are you responsible for that? Shareholders had reached out party? to okay. us. Shareholders re had reached out to us and said, we'd like to have see you guys managing this company. We made a brief approach to Caesars uh, that summer. Caesars was not interested at the time, right. told us so. Uh, we were in the middle of buying a company called Tropicana Entertainment from Carl. Right. And so we had discussed it briefly, and then I, like the rest of you, saw that Carl had become a shareholder of Caesars. There was rumors of how big he was going to be. And then we started talking about, you know, is this something we'd be interested in? And here we are. And you called him or he called you for, this, for, the, for, the, for, the, big, for the big deal uh, here? I would say he was aware of our interest from our prior conversations and reached out to reconfirm it once he became involved. Right. Okay, so the big question I, I think that the marketplace is looking at is this $500 million synergy number. Can you actually cut these costs fast enough, and what does that actually look like, and does that take away from any of the properties? So this is our seventh acquisition since 2005, our sixth in the last five years. In each prior acquisition, we have announced a target, and when we announce that target, we have a very high degree of confidence in terms of the numbers that we're going to hit. This is no different. The numbers are just larger in this case. Caesars is a large company. But we've had an extraordinary amount of access to this point uh, with Caesars management, both at the, the corporate and the property level. We have a very good sense of how they run their business. We did at the time of the acquisition, and now four months later, even more so, we're supremely confident we'll hit that $500 million. Sports target. gambling is a game changer, and for you, I think it provides a lot of opportunity, but also some risk to some extent, because Jersey, New Jersey passed Nevada now. So, and I was going to just, I'm going to let you talk in a second, but I think of like Tropicana, do people still go there? Desert Inn is gone. I mean, these new upstarts come up with all the bells and whistles, Bellagio or whatever, and some of the older properties, it's not just about gambling anymore. It seems like to be out there, you need to have a great experience for the whole family, and I think Caesars is a great brand name. But. That's right, and that was a part of the appeal here was Caesars, as Contessa said in the opening, was the gold standard in gaming from a number of different perspectives, including brand not that long ago. Those of us in the market think of Caesars in terms of the LBO and then the bankruptcy, but it's not that long ago that Caesars was the standard in the business, right. and Caesars still has a lot of assets. You asked about sports betting. Sports betting is a reason for customers to visit your property that otherwise we're not going to see it. So, so when you're talking about what's to come, yep. you've got the very valuable uh, Caesars rewards now. Everybody agrees that this was one of the prime assets that Caesars was bringing to the table. You're known for cutting back on promotions and cutting back on marketing. Do you anticipate making big changes to Caesars rewards? So Caesars rewards to us is the equivalent of owning the one frequent flyer program that matters in the business. And we think it's going to be very powerful. We're going to bring our 12 million customers into their database of 50 million, into their Las Vegas ecosystem, and we think that's going to help us yield in Las Vegas. It's going to help us attract customers at the local level. In our travels, we've seen properties that are, that are, tra that are exporting 25, 50, 75 million a year of play elsewhere in the Caesar system. We have 26 properties in our database. We don't do that much on a combined basis from 26 properties. So Caesars Rewards is extremely powerful. We think it's great for our customers. We think it'll drive business throughout the system as we combine. Tommy, you're talking about how acquisitive you've been. Um, after this, after po post synergies, post a deal, post everything, analysts are saying you'll be at five times leverage. How many turns of leverage do you need to be at in order for you to consider your seventh or eighth acquisition? Well, what I tell you is, there's not much left for us domestically. We'll have around 60 casinos across the country. 
there's really no holes in the map. Uh, we come out of this a little bit more levered than we have typically operated between four and five times. We'll come out of this at five and a half. But we think we'll pay down four to five billion dollars of debt in the first 24 months post-transaction. And we really want to drive biz leverage low. We'd like to drive leverage sub three times. Sub three. Okay. We think that if we're able to accomplish that, we'll be rewarded with an expanded multiple Tom. as we de-risk the company. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Appreciate it, Contessa. Thank you.